So welcome to another very interesting hacker rank challenge and today we are going to insert a node at a specific position in a linked list. So let's quickly solve it and I'm going to show you the algorithm and then we are going to translate it into a code. So assuming we have this problem right here, we have a linked list. Each of the elements in the, in the list or each of the nodes in the list has an index from the head which has an index of 0 to the last element which has an index of 3. So you are given to insert an item at position 2. We have this item here to insert at position 2. So it means that you want to insert it at position 2 and then shift every other thing forward. So the idea is that you are going to come here in between here, sorry, you are going to come to break this link right here you are going to break this link and then you are going to insert your item in there. Let's say we have it here. This item, you insert it now. This is position 1. This is position 2. I is equal to 2. And you are going to point this pointer from 1 now to this node. And then you are going to point this node to this one. That is how to do it. So it basic, basically how to manipulate pointers. Let's quickly write the code right now. So the first thing you want to check is the position. So if the position is zero, if the position is zero, that is easy. So let's check if the position is zero. So I'm going to say if POS is equal to zero, meaning that you want to insert it to the head. Now, if the position is zero, you want to first check if the list is empty. So if the head is non, if the head but before we continue, we need to create a new linked list. So I'm going to say a new node. New node is equal to node using the data we have provided. Okay. So let me just make it look a little better. All right. So we are saying that if the position is zero, then we are going to insert it to the head. But we also need to check if the head is none. So I'm going to say if the position is zero, I'm going to check if the head is none. We are going to return the new node we created. Okay, so this is clear. Okay, but if the head is not none, there is something in the head. We are going to simply put that node here and simply set the next of that node to the current head. So simply put the node in the beginning and set the next to the head. That's all. And then return it. Return the new node. So that's now the head of the list, of the, of the linked list. Now I'm going to now come here, else. This is where we have to do a little bit of work. So I'm going to say else. Now when we say else, we are now going to check. Uh, yeah, so this is, that is why I wrote out some of this. So we are done with this. So we have to now check if there is something after this place, right? So if there is something after this place or something like that, so we're going to check if there's an existing node because one thing about linked list is that you can't get a count. So we're going to check if there is a node here. If there is a node here, then we are going to set the pointer. So basically we have this head and we are going to set a new pointer here, which is the same. But this one, this node here, we're going to be moving it one step at a time is equal to head okay so i'm going to save the head in the node okay so that the head will not be overwritten because we always have to return the head so we are going to use a loop now to be checking if the node has a next so i'm going to say if we are going to check if sorry actually while while node dot next is not equal to none. Okay, so while there is an item here, while there is an item here, we are going to check, we are going to check if the position, while there is an item here, right? Why there is an item? So in this case, we are not talking about here anymore. This is where we are. So while there is an item here, we are going to maybe first save 
the next node. So I'm going to call this next node, next node is equal to node dot next. So at this point, we have this item and we also have this item, right? And we also need to initialize i here to 0, i to 1, because we already have, we already have considered 0. So we have to initialize i to 1. Okay, so node, next node now is node.next, which is at index i, right? Which is at index i. Because if this node.next here and the first index is 0, node.next will now be at index i. Okay, so what we are going to do now is to check if, if the position, which is this position they gave us, we want to insert, is the same as i. If the position is i, we are now going to do what we, just, we mentioned here in this operation. So I'm going to simply say, and the position is i, we are going to now set the, the node dot next will now be the new node so i'm going to say node dot next set it to the new node all right set it to the new node which is this node right here and set the next node dot next right and set the next and set the new node dot next let's get it right so this is New the next node is equal to node.next, that is fine. And we are going to now set the node.next to be the new node. And we are going to now set new node, a new node.next. Remember we saved the next node right here, remember? So we are going to just now use it as equal to the next node. Okay, and then because we found we've inserted it, we are simply going to return. We return. Okay, while this list is going through, we are going to increment our i, i plus plus. All right, so I'm thinking I'm writing in Java or C plus plus. This is Python. Python doesn't support i plus plus, but it's okay. Okay, so if this list, uh, if this while loop terminates at, at that point, it never found it until it got to the end. We are now going to insert the new node at the end of the link place. So it's going to be node dot next is the new node, right? So in this case, we didn't find any any position here until we get to the end. We are simply going to insert it at the end of this link place here, and we at the end we are going to then return. So what we are returning here, what we are returning here remains the head. And here we are also going to return the head, right? Great. So that's basically how to insert into a linked list. I'm going to go write it exactly the same way I described it right here. I'm going to write it right here in HackerRank window. And let's see. So I'm going to fast forward while I write. So but it's exactly what I described. I'm going to be writing right here now. All right, so this is how the code looks like. I think I've completed writing it exactly. I forgot to mention that for you to move next, you need to uh, set node to node.next. So that means that for you to move next, you need to set this node to node.next and then increment your i. So let's go try it out by running the code and let's see what we have. And you can see that it passes the sample test cases, the three of them. And let's try to submit and see if it passes every other test case. And you can see that it passes all the other test cases as well. So I'm going to stop here and I'd like to thank you for being there. Thank you for viewing. And also I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. And also leave me a comment if this has been informative 
for you. I remain kind on the tech crew and I'm always there for you.